Hello again, it's Brendan Aquaponics Farm. Uh, it's been a while since I did a video, so I thought I'd uh, bring you up to speed some changes. Uh, a lot of tweaks in the system, as usual. So to start off, you'll notice um, over in the back side here, we've got an extra hose attached to the main line into the fish tank and a return coming out from here. Uh, I've had a problem with heating the water. Uh, I've got two heaters in here as is, with these two black cords you see off of the metal beams, but uh, it costs money to keep those going and I'd rather not have them uh, on. So what I've done is I created a solar heater. It feeds water off of the main system back here out um, the window uh, or out the side panel, cut holes in the wall, to come out here to the main unit. Um, it's a solar box. Uh, what the solar box does is, is it has a feed coming in from the house or from the shed goes all around the black coils uh, and then feeds back out to the tank. The sun, um, the box is enclosed with uh, insulation. Obviously the black coils heat up in the sun to about 120 degrees, naturally heating my water um, and giving me a little bit of help. I've heard you can gain about 10, 20 degrees uh, depending on how much sun and how well it's insulated, but we will see. Uh, before we're at 49 degrees, uh, after the heaters, we've been current around uh, 57 to 65 degrees, and today it's kind of chilly, so we're at 62.7. We'll see what this hose does if it gets it up to 70. Um, so, yeah, so it's still feeding pretty well into the tank, even with that branch off of there. Again, one pump, not really adding any electricity to put that in, so that's really nice. You'll also notice around a lot of my sockets, I got this black uh, all over which is the most amazing stuff. It is a Rust-Oleum, little advertising here for you, Rust-Oleum, leak seal. Amazing stuff. Uh, expensive, but it seals like nobody's business. I uh, had a lot of sweating, a lot of little cracks, not cracks, but this is, you know, this stuff's movable. So whenever it would move, it would put a little crack in there, a little seep, just barely causing mold. So you spray this stuff down, completely locked everything down. Great stuff. I added a few shelves. I've got every testing thing in here. If I could find something that was electronic that didn't cost $10,000, I'd buy it because I'm so tired of dripping drops into things and testing. I just want an electronic meter. I know it sounds lazy, but I like accuracy. Um, so anyway, same deal. Feeds around the wall. Sorry for moving so quickly. Kind of zipped through this. Uh, beds, uh, you'll notice a little bit more full, got them up to the full capacity, this one's ready to be grown in um, as soon as I get the, the permanent uh, sides on. This one i kind of been pillaging, got to add a little bit to, and again, this one is good. I do have a plant, um, this has been a test plant, it's parsley, probably can't see zooming in that good, but parsley, it's actually coming up fairly well uh, for the system being as cold as it is. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to be adding more in the next month once it's uh, once this place is sealed up and climatized. I uh, also notice these little nubbins that I put on here. Believe it or not, adding that one little inch of PVC through those those bell uh, valves completely quiets the system down. Uh, it was just a little bit louder, and that seemed to help. And then putting the pads underneath makes it almost silent. Um, one problem that I was having is uh, back pressure. Uh, back pressure um, in the, the pipes for when they're draining. Over here, um, I, you know, obviously this is a sealed drain system all the way to over here, and there is some back pressure. So what I've been trying to do here is relieve some of that back pressure, and it used to be a cap there, and now I've actually moved it to where it is a open-ended kind of pipe where it can get some air. I've got to make it a little bit higher because it is leaking a little bit, so you can still see how much pressure is there. But once I get that fully open, I'll have a nice hole on this end that will allow for that water to run out of here at the optimum speed. Uh, one thing I've tried to do is quiet the system down. Um, I tried, well first on the biofilter, uh, it used to be the loudest part of the system. And because it was water falling out of this piece right here. Um, so what I did is I actually added a little one foot run down into the water. And because uh, that's just an overflow, it works really well, still generates a lot of bubbles aeration, and um, very helpful. Over here, couldn't quite do that. Because of the backflow issue, I had to use more of an open system, so I created this little slide, so to speak, 
where the water just kind of drains down and it really quiets it down considerably. Um, I'm going to try to do this without dropping my phone in the water here, but I've also added some Bicosmos, or Placosmos, however you say that, uh, to this tank. I was going to do Red Claws, which I find are indigenous over in Australia, because that's where all these sites are that I'm reading. I'm sure I could find them over here, but at the end of the day, it just needed to be a little too warm, and these guys can handle a lot more climates, and they're self-sufficient, they eat algae, so they will grow and make fertilizer for me as they feed, and also kind of keep this tank um, manageable with algae. Uh, the other part, I guess hadn't changed much, but the biofilter is working really well. Um, what I found with this is it is a, that, that red dial right there, it is a happy medium to how much water you're feeding in here, how much water you're releasing. Um, I do have a little stick in there that has uh, some slits cut in to turn the water on the left side there. It's just a work in process to get this thing to roll. I still don't know if I'm rolling this too hard or not, um, but I think I've got enough roll where it's not messing it up and allowing it to grow. Um, so that's the biofilter working good I think again I'm trying to heat the system up because I think everything will grow a lot faster if I can get this thing above 70s um, like 73 74 uh, roof is coming in very shortly I had to open this thing up because I was having a mini rainforest in here uh, the roof that I'm getting is 13 millimeter double ply so it won't sweat on the inside which is a plus I'm going to have an attic fan right there to pull, not an attic fan, but a, yeah, well, a gable fan to pull heat out of the system to ventilate, um, and we should be good. Uh, we are almost through winter here in Georgia, getting close to warming up to where I can start growing in here, um, so we should be good to go once I get the walls on, but that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed uh, my aquaponics system here, and I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.